Hi there, um, apologies for the delay in producing this uh, next video um, but we've got an illness in the family and uh, that's having to take priority. Now I was originally going to um, show you me machining the eccentrics in this video um, but I've decided to uh, delay that and um, in this video I'm going to show you how I go about machining the crossheads. Okay so this is a crosshead I made earlier and uh, I decided to make it and at the same time work up uh, a plan and document that so I can repeat the same process for the second one. Now the crosshead fits on the end of the link here and I thought I'd make it in brass rather than mild steel because I think it probably looks a little bit better. Now this bit here fits onto the A-frame. Now the A-frame that I, that I made is slightly wider than the plan. I think it's about 25 thou wider. So um, what I've done is I've, I've drawn up some uh, of my own dimensions and uh, I've cut a piece of this piece of brass and I've milled it down to a width of 5 sixteenths of an inch and to a height of 0.45 of an inch. Uh, so what I'll do now is I'll put it in the four jaw chuck on the lathe, I'll face one end off and then I'll look to machine this boss here. Okay so I've uh, put this piece of brass in this four jaw chuck and uh, I've actually put a little piece of uh, shim uh, on each face just to protect it. I've, I've super glued that onto the brass actually and just to check that I'm centered that's on zero Opposite side is a couple of thou out, I'm happy with that. That's reading 70. And that's just a couple of thou out as well. So I'm, I'm happy it's uh, pretty much there in terms of being centred. So what I'll do first of all is I'll just face this end off. Okay, so I've just remembered that before cutting the boss, I need to uh, drill and tap this to um, 4BA. So I've already centre drilled and I've got this 2.8mm um, drill bit uh, and I'm going to go into a depth of 10mm. So I've set my depth stop on the carriage to 3 sixteenths of an inch. Um, I've set the cross slide so I'm just touching these edges. And I, now I need to turn this down to 0.221 of an inch or thereabouts.
So I'll just double check the dimensions and uh, I'll continue turning it down until I get to uh, 0.221 of an inch. Okay, so I uh, messed up a little bit because um, the actual piece of brass was too far in the chuck so I've had to loosen off a couple of the jaws and pull it out, re-tighten them up and double check that it's still centred, which it is. So what I've done now is I've put this uh, little round tool on here which is 6mm in diameter and uh, I took it up to the edge here and then I've uh, set the carriage stop to a sixteenth of an inch in. So I'm going to nibble away at that and create a bit of a chamfer. So it's getting there slowly, so I'll carry on until I get a profile similar to the one on the other piece. But I'll do that off camera. So I've just switched it round in the four jaw chuck. And I've used some die cam to mark uh, where it needs to be turned down to, which is um, 23, uh, 30 seconds of an inch from the other end. Well, so far so good, um, so now I need to uh, do some work on the mill. Okay, so using the edge finder, I found that edge. I zeroized the y-axis on the DRO, then I found that edge, and having found the distance, I divided it on the touch DRO by, by two, and um, that gave me the position um, to center on, right spot on in the middle. Then I moved the edge finder over to this edge here and having found the edge I zeroized the uh, x-axis DRO and uh, then I moved the x-axis that way 3 millimeters because my edge finder is 6 millimeters in diameter. Having found the center of that point I then moved the x-axis again 9 sixteenths of an inch to give me that point there which I need to centre drill and uh, drill through with a 2.65mm drill bit which is for uh, threading 5BA. Now when I made the last one I um, then drilled halfway through with a 3.3mm drill bit which is 5BA clear. Um, so that allows the bolt to go through and you thread the other end. However, um, I'm not sure which end I need to thread, um, so I'm going to leave the threading and the 3.3mm uh, clear hole until sort of later on in the process, once I know how it's threaded and uh, w which way around it needs to be. So anyway, I'll crack on and do the centre drilling and the 2.65mm uh, drill.
Okay, so to turn these corners, what I've done is I've made this little mandrel. I'm going to lock tight it in place. And then I can put it on the rotary table, on the mill. And turn the corners up to the edge of this round piece. So to centre the rotary table on the mill, I've got this uh, two most taper blank which I turned the end down to 14 millimetres. So if I put it in, put this 14 millimetre collet, I can then bring that down, align the table, tighten up the clamps on the side, and lock the X and Y axis now I zero the DRO and that's it, centred and here I've got a Jacob's chuck on a 2 most taper let's put that in tap it with a hammer So I've just put a couple of washers under here, just to give it some clearance. And now all I need to do is to move the x-axis to the right and just mill these corners off up to the edge of the mandrel. So I've just offset the x-axis so when I rotate the chuck uh, it'll just cut 10 thou off. Then I'll move the x-axis in again, do another 10 thou and keep on cutting until I just touch this edge here. Well, so far so good, and the next stage is to cut this material out. Okay, so I've put the crosshead on some parallels in the uh, milling vise, and I need to determine the centre um, of the Y axis. So, if I move 
this edge finder, which is a 6mm diameter edge finder, to the far edge of the vise. That's gone. So if I zero as the uh, Y axis DRO, then if I move it to the other edge, it's just gone. So my uh, DRO reads 5.2. So if I halve that, I know if I move it now, 2.6 millimeters, I'm going to be on the center. And that actually now will go down to zero as I move it. So it'll just count down to zero. So when I get to zero on the DRO, I know I'm centered. So if I lock the Y axis, now I move the X axis to find the edge of the boss. It's just gone. Okay, so I'm happy it's found that edge. So what I need to do now is to move it three millimeters this way to center on that edge because this is a six millimeter diameter. Now what I need to do is to move it again this way um, but 0.362 of an inch. That's because the boss and this edge here is a quarter of an inch. But I want the cutout to start, start there which is, um, let me see, 0.112 of an inch. So. It's, uh, so that's a quarter of an inch plus 0.112 gives me 0.362. So move it 0.362 of an inch. Zero as the DRO again. Go back to millimetres. And I'm going to start drilling with a 7mm drill bit. So half of 7mm is three and a half millimeters so I'll move it another three and a half millimeters. So now I know if I drill a seven millimeter hole in that position it's going to define the edge of the cutout and the actual cutout needs to be seven millimeters wide anyway so it should work okay. Okay, so I've centre drilled it and I'm now I'm going to drill with this 3.2mm stub drill. Now the 6mm stub drill. And finally, this 7mm drill bit. So that has now defined that edge and these edges. So all I need to do now is to mill this out. So I've just put um, a 6mm end mill in here and I'm going to just nibble away taking 10th hour at a time off. Once I've got right down to the bottom I'll then move the x-axis or rather the y-axis half a millimetre so I can just finish that far end and then I'll move it back this side um, 
another half millimeter well in fact it'll be a full millimeter then won't it um, to mill this side and finish that off Well that's uh, worked out pretty well, so all I need to do now is to create this right angle. So I need to use these little files just to cut in there like that. But I'll do that off camera because it's a bit fiddly. Okay, so I've uh, just done a rough assembly and that has told me uh, which uh, side needs to be tapped to 5BA and as the bolt goes through there that end needs to be um, threaded to 5BA and that needs to be drilled to 5BA clear which I think is 33 millimeters. Uh, but I'll do all that off camera. Now unfortunately on this one um, I, I, I didn't do an assembly like this and uh, I tapped this side which isn't as per the drawing but uh, hopefully it won't look too bad on assembly. Well on assembly on the A-frames uh, I ended up having to um, file a bit more material out um, just under the sort of inside edge um, of the cross heads to enable them to sort of tilt that way but uh, not looking bad so far Well I'm getting there slowly but surely and this little grasshopper is starting to take shape I've now actually got a little bit of motion so uh, I hope you like the results so far. Mm -hmm.